Hi, John. Hi. I'm so excited. I went through my things. I was, you know, doing spring cleaning and looking over different things that I have at home that I received from my friends at the clinic. And I found this. It's a little puppet. It's like a glove. Very cool. It came from a three and a half year old patient. And one some nurse, somebody brought it to me, said that's from her. And when I looked inside, there's all all these pieces of paper. Wow. Ishan, there's not one word we can understand. Every page is different. It almost felt like art. But as I was looking through it, I realized it was a secret language. Did you have any secret languages when you were growing up? Oh, absolutely. I used to have a secret language with my brother and we would use it to write secret notes and it was a lot of fun. And it was really fun coming up with all the alphabets and the letters. But also it reminds me of our dear friend, Mickey. And Mickey has graffiti that he does. And in the graffiti and the artwork that he makes, he has a secret language that he puts into it. And it's not just a language, but it's also art. It's kind of like that place where language meets art. So when I was thinking about it and uh, going way, way back to where I got my secret language and how much I enjoyed making the video with Mickey, and looking at his graffiti and his way of transforming the letters we know into a different system, I thought, how about I take us to the Metropolitan Museum of Art and I'm going to show you language that was invented probably 3,500 years ago. Wow. And the impression of it are at the Met. Wait, let's go. Here we are in front of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, my favorite museum on earth. And we're going to try and explore ancient languages so we can make one of our own. Please join us into this amazing treasure hunt. I really love the feeling of walking into this ancient palace that served a king called Asher Nasipal. 3,000 years ago, they decorated the wall with fantastic animals and creatures and a tree of life and pomegranates and more. This place stood to glorify Asher Nasipal and has writing all over the wall to state how cool he was, how strong he was. Look at this incredible room. Look at that. We're looking at the ancient Near East where creatures that were a combination of humans and animals inspired people to make their own mind about stories and myths and understand the idea of the culture. But some needed more than that. They needed to write something, not always look at picture to understand. And here is one of the oldest writing we can find at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Look at that. You see, each one of them is a little triangular because they, all they did is they took a stick and they created wedge forms. And look at the lines. And little by little, those marks became a language. Going down, going sideways. What does it say? Can we make a language, a writing language that we can try to decipher? Let's look at Asher Nasipal before we continue. Come. Look. We're looking at two individuals. Who's the king? 
Ishan, can you tell who the king is? I think it's that one. You're talking about the shaved The characters. shaved one. I Maybe think even a little taller than the bearded character, right? Yeah. So Ashur Nasipal is actually bearded. Oh. And this is his helper. And his helper has a fly whisk. And his helper is serving him a ladle full of some kind of food to put in Ashur Nasipal's bowl. And all the writing around this entire palace sum up to one thing. The king is the coolest, the baddest, mm -hmm. the best. <laughs> Praise him. Thank you, Ishan, for coming with me to the Met. This is amazing. Thank you so much for taking me to the museum, Nitsa. That was so inspiring. I looked at that ancient language and I decided to make my own. So I took Model Magic and I made a tablet out of it. And then I grabbed a simple ruler and washable marker, but not for the marker part. I used the cap to make geometric shapes. Wow. And I made a language out of those shapes. Hmm. Can you guess what this reads? I say Juno. That one. Yes. You're right. Dog. Ran like an arrow to a tent or a house. You're kind Dog. of right. Dog so, ran to the house. I win. <laughs> kind of. So what you guys can do is when you make your language, you can make a key. And a key basically tells you what your letters mean. So I made the simple key, which you, if you hold up my tablet next to it, you can read that my dog pooped in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Which There's is something no that happens sometimes. You guys can beat that. You could make a secret language, pencil on paper, or use your model magic. Go ahead and write a secret message and take a picture of it and send it to me to aimnita at gmail.com. Also, we're hoping to go back to the Metropolitan Museum of Art again. So please let me know if you liked the museum, if you like me to go there again, and if so, where should I go? Thank you so much to the staff at the Met who super helped us getting through the day. And thank you, Ishan, for an amazing project. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.